Well, you can probably guess what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to take a look at Deepin, but before I do... Hi! And now, follow me as we go on an adventure with my webcam. And disable. Did it do it? Oh, God damn it! Sometimes it just doesn't recognize. I just wanted to try that. Just to see if it would. There we go. Now it's disabled. Good. Yeah. So uh, I did a firmware update. My camera works better. So let's install Deepin and hope that it's version 23. Okay. Deepin anything. Arch. DKMS. Yes. And it looks to be a lot of stuff. Huh. Last time I tried to use Deepin on Fedora, it uh, it didn't work so well. And the reason being, <laughs> there was no GPU acceleration, so it was really wonky. And this happens all the time. Everyone's updating their repos, but, you know, it never really fully functions. Oh yeah, there was an update for 6.2. Oh, and RC3 is officially out, which is nice. I'm already on RC3, uh, 6.12 RC3. So that's good. I mean, they probably did it better than I did, so it's like, why not update, right? Okay. So that's updating all of my stuffs. And... Good. Good. Ha ha ha. Alright, well let's try that whole deepen thing again, and uh, hope for the best, shall we? Oh, it seems to be grabbing everything this time. Which is nice, because it's always good to get things. And... And... Oh, it's working. Well, we're not really going to... Oh, it worked. Okay, so we're good to go. And hopefully we'll have a Wayland session instead now, because Deepin did end up getting Wayland. Uh, so I'm hoping for the best for this now. I'm going to log in, log out, and we're going to see if we end up having Deepin. By the way, I've uploaded a new wallpaper. Uh, it's this one. And uh, I went a little above and beyond with this one, where she is literally glowing with fire all around her. And uh, I figured it's a nice little Halloween wallpaper. Oh, see you on Well, we're clearly in X11, which is okay, I guess. I'm fine with that. I'm not, but I am, uh, because on Deepin, it actually performs pretty well, which is surprising. What is this? Oh, see, that looks clean. I like that. And and then the system monitor. The system monitor looks killer. Ah, uh, it's just so, I don't know, clean. Everything just looks clean. I like it. But the background needs to go because, well, if I don't have my own background and do my own thing, then I don't really want it. But how the hell do we set a custom background? Oh, look at how freaking... No, I'm in the way. You guys don't get to see how beautiful that is. Look, look how beautiful that is. See, this is how you do it. This is how you get things done. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is good UX design. Okay? You open up your discs, tells you everything you need to know. They're in funky colors. They're actually like there. You open up to your computer instead of your home folder or other location. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I like this. Let's go to pictures. Let's go to Maria. And let's set as wallpaper. Wow. What other options do we have here? We have detailed view. Nice. We have tree mode. I don't like tree mode. Uh, we have grid or list mode, and then we have grid mode. Uh, can we like make this bigger? No, we can't. There's got to be a button to do that because it'd be a bit ridiculous if there wasn't. The animation. Did you see the animation? Look at the animation. See. KDE, this is how you do animations. Gnome, KDE, this is how you do UX design. Because this is the settings app. This is it. This is your settings app right here. Look at it. 
Uh, let me shrink myself. Put myself back up here. Like, themes. And the best part is, you get to actually have themes, okay? Without it breaking your desktop. Oh my good golly, there's vintage. What does vintage do? Yeah, let's go back to custom. Like, and it has good wallpapers. Wow. You know how weird it is to actually have a desktop environment that works? Instead of one that just works against you? Constantly? I mean, look, I can just go instantly back in here and set as wallpaper and done. And now we're back to where we were. It looks good. It's minimalistic. Default applications. You get to choose your mail text. You get to choose your freaking terminal. Come on. When this gets Wayland, I, I honestly think that maybe it's time to give uh, Gnome the boot. Only if it keeps getting better. And look, performance, high performance. Uh, decrease brightness. Why would I do that? Don't do that. Mouse. Left hand. Double click. Like, this is all clean and super intuitive and just... Uh, and look, you get to choose your boot menu. And there's a boot animation. That's cool. And... Can we even... Like... Okay, I just applied a theme to this. I did, I did. Uh, big size. Oh. Okay, cool. It even has nice audio instead of ding dong ta, you know? No, it doesn't have any of that. System info looks nice and clean. Look at that. Rolling arch. It's just, just, just Arch Linux, Stephen. 64-bit. Shows the RAM. Shows your next 11. Shows the kernel I'm running. Uh, sound. Okay, so turning up the volume ended up killing my device, which is hilarious. But it was already at 50% and bugged to begin with. So I guess, whatever. Uh, there's your input. You can select your input device. Input one. You can choose your sound effects. You can choose to turn them off. Okay? It's not hidden or convoluted. Uh, no, no, I do not want you, or you, or you. I want input one and two. I do not want you, you, or you, or you, or you. You get to choose your devices, which audio comes through. See? You get to choose between pipe wire and pulse audio. Don't ever choose pulse audio. You're literally asking for trouble. We looked at this one. The Bluetooth menu is nice. It's simple. Notifications menu. Simple. Networking. Simple. Great googly moogly. I mean... I I legit cannot ask for anything else. You may be wondering where's my third monitor. No, it's currently unplugged. This thing's not behaving well with three monitors. Which is annoying. I can make them work. But it's just too buggy and I don't want to bother. The one thing that this thing lacks most of all, I guess, is customization, but it's so smooth. And the Wayland version should be even smoother, hopefully, once KDE gets their crap together and stops being a massive, buggy mess, which is kind of really bad for people right now. 6.2 is just nothing but bugs. They even tried a small bug fix release, but it didn't really do much, and it's unfortunate because, well, you know, KDE users, they have to... Constantly throw it in your face that they're better than you. Ah. Hey, why are you on that screen? I want to show you on this screen. I can't show you. Oh, that is so rude. It's got a... It's got a launcher. And it's very reminiscent of Mac OS. And it's really cool. I, I want to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. Just give me a sec. And there it is. Look at this thing. Wow. That's pretty cool. I enjoy this. 
I don't enjoy the fact that it's on my other monitor, but I think they're doing that to sort of get it out of your way to not like intrude on your workflow, which I understand. That's pretty cool. Not bad at all. Hmm. How does it treat DaVinci's Resolve though? All right. So open it up. See, that's nice and smooth. Okay, can we make the window go to another thing? No, we can't. So there's no key binds or anything like that that are just standard. You know, there's a lot of bad things that I say about other desktop environments. Lack of customization. X11 are the only two things that I can say that are bad about Deepin. They get the UX right, okay? They do. And... They get the ease of use right. They get the fact that you have built-in stuff like this. Like, they're treating you like you're a king instead of a, a virus on the doorstep who constantly wants and complains. They just give you the most basic stuff and they're like, yeah, uh, I hope you're good. And if you're not, well, maybe we can help with that. They just seem to care, which is... A lot more than I can say about other desktop environments, honestly. So let's set this. Like. Aw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it bugged out. Lots of cool pictures, though. Animals. Expressions. Uh, there's a penguin. Save. There, now we're a penguin. Yeah, I, I, there's just a multitasking view. Okay, that's pretty. I like that. What? There's also a secondary. Wow, that's pretty cool. So what are you? You're the show desktop button. Cool. Uh, let's check out your calendar. It's modern. It actually looks good. It's modern. Wow. That's impressive. Oh, events and festivals. Like. Wow. Okay. Now that was the control center. You know the control center already. Uh, this is another form of it, I guess. Which is nice. Yeah. What else do we got down here? I showed you this. There's the on-screen keyboard. Is the on-screen keyboard nice? It won't let me click it because I don't have a touchscreen display, which I understand. Wireless menu. Kicks ass. Bluetooth menu. Looks good. I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff that we can do for this. Kind of take me a bit to learn. Dock settings, location. We can change the location, which is really nice. But, uh, what else can we do with it? Let's see. Can we make it, like, stretch? Not bad. I like that. That looks cool. And the best part is, there's always people complaining. Why do you have a panel and a dock? For reference. You know, it's a hard thing to understand that preference is, you know, something for somebody, but... Come on now. People have preference. People have preference about people. And, uh, honestly, it's something that... Whoa. Rounded corners are cool. Oh, we can turn that. We could. Oh, wow. So we can actually have a good balance. Look at that. See, this is how you get things done. Not to be nerdy or anything, but this in its own is mind blowing. And I love every second of it. Tell me what you guys think of Deepin. I'm just, just going to get better. It usually does. I don't think it knows what it is, so it constantly is changing what it is. But from my point uh, and my opinion and my perspective, this thing is just honestly killer. UX problems don't exist in KDE land. And 
I'm sure they have more apps if I could actually know which apps are theirs because I have a ton of apps installed. <clears throat> so it's kind of difficult to really know. There's parental controls. Like, cool. Wow. So I can keep my kid from destroying my stuff. It shows wine icons properly. Like, it showed the proper icon for this application, which it does not do on GNOME or KDE. By the way, this does not work, clearly. No device. If anybody has gotten this to work, let me know. Like, there's just so much stuff. Okay? I don't know. I don't know of any of the other applications. I know it installed a lot. Uh, and that's great and all, but yeah, I can't use this right now because it can't be stuck on X11. I don't like it. And again, uh, that's just my preference. And that's just something you need to understand is I'm not an X11 person. I abandoned X11 years ago and I plan on keeping X11 completely banned, but this is really cool if you guys like this video don't forget to like subscribe share it i will see you guys next time uh we'll try for a stream tonight i just don't want to screw up my sleeping schedule so uh we're gonna try to do it early so thank you guys for watching